2021. Happy New Year. And I have a gift for you. I have the serverless roundup. It's like a Rosetta Stone. I, I translate the same HTTP function between different cloud providers and frameworks. And I have it all the results in a, in a neat little table. It's my review and the thing I focused on was iteration speed. And for me, it is unchanged. Apex up on AWS Lambda is the winner. In doing this comparison, I created some demo URLs. You're welcome to, to benchmark it and find out which one you think is the best. You know, compare the uh, slow startup speeds and things like that, if that, that means something to you. Um, but the real like bulk of the work that I did was in these uh, GitHub workflows, and you can have a look at them. I just want to quickly share some GitHub workflow tips. You do get a kind of a linter if you use the, what do you call it, the GitHub edit feature. That's the best you can basically do. I wanted to bemoan that I'm coming from Travis. You can't easily skip, you can't skip the CI very easily. I found searching other workflows very useful. And to do that, you, you, you use like a, a parameter like path, colon, GitHub workflows. And here I'm just searching for the keyword go. So my aim going forward is to do continuous delivery between these various projects and, and hopefully keep them up to date so that you can see if there's just some, any, any ongoing problems, you know, going forward. So this should still be, uh, in months from now, a relevant place to go to figure out things. I do get false positives if there is, if GCP Cloud Run is trying to deploy the same version. I don't know how you avoid that. Answers below. And if Cloud Functions, sometimes it takes a really long time for a Cloud Function to deploy. So if you like do another build, a deployment uh, at the same time, you'll, you'll have issues, whatever. So I hope this project answers your questions. Is there serverless lock-in? No, I don't think so. You got great choices between AWS, GCP, even Azure. So use them. And I also highly recommend if you if you uh, want to go one step forward and, for example, use Blob Storage, you should look at using the cloud, the Go Cloud Development Kit, and then it gives you some sort of like nice abstractions there, so that you don't necessarily lock yourself into particular um, SDK. So thanks for watching. Please like the video. Please comment below if you know better. And yeah, enjoy this body of work, guys. It took me a long time to do this. So yeah, go serverless. And um, on the back of my work. <laughs> Bye. Quick story. So my, my HTTP function just echoes out the environment and it has a little counter so that I kind of know if it spawned new versions and you know what this what the state is of the particular uh, serverless function. I got a strange tweet at me saying that I have a security vulnerability uh, with regards to the Azure functions. Basically this security researcher i.e. Uh, he, he googled for, for, some, for some keys and found my example running. And he said that with that key, he's able to replace my function and mine Bitcoin. So it's one of those security things where if you somehow accidentally disclose the environment, which I did, because I'm just e echoing out the, the, whole, <laughs> the whole environment in my, in my, in my test, yeah. I had a security vulnerability, whoa. And the way around it, as he has advised, is for me to uh, not echo out these particular um, values. Anything that ends with a key, for example. So that if, you're wonder, if you ever have a close look at my, like my cloud function, wondering what this is all about, don't print the whole environment because that might Allow someone to replace your function, in Azure at least. <laughs> Hope you enjoy the video. Bye.